but it, it has tickled me for a while that there is an achievement in Stellaris for being at peace for 200 years. Um, the, the end game crisis stuff doesn't count for breaking the peace, um, which is nice. Now, a lot of that is going to be very dependent on what other people do, but I think it might be viable. Uh, at the very least, it used to be called Inward Perfection. What are we calling ourselves? Name the race Xenophiles. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Oh, when you picked those three, it was called Inward Perfection. Ah. Uh, getting achievements, that must be the April Fool's part. I mean, maybe. The funny thing is, we're going to get achievements for, like, dumb things. That, like, you built your first ship kind of achievements. Um, probably. We'll see how it goes. Uh, yeah, cool, man. I did see your tweet earlier. Um, I don't remember where I have to find it. Yes, it sounds very good, Cool Man. Cool Man always talking about food and his dinners. Let's get started. And Adarian's having an issue. Yeah, I know that it can't, uh, he can't load his thing, so I don't know. We'll see. Can you kill everyone to get your piece? I mean, in a sense, I guess. Anyway, let's, let's get started. Let's make a race and see what we can do. So... I had thought for the race, I don't have much of an idea in terms of theme or whatever, but I thought that, you know, we may as well, we might go fully diplomatic, um, form a federation for peace. Now, the problem is we can stop the federations from going to war, from starting wars. But if someone declares war on one of our federation friends, then we're going to get pulled into war and I'll break the 200 years of peace. What's the best way? Do we do we not federalize? Do we play as sort of isolationists? But then, you know, random other people who make uh, federations and stuff are probably going to do that. Yeah, Devouring Storm as neighbors. And here's the thing. If we do start the game next to Devouring Storm, well, we might just restart, actually. I don't know. But we could also just go and, and bop them, kill them, and then start the 200-year counter from that. But we'll see. And we're perfectionists some isolationists and focus tech to get too powerful. Um, we could also do the, like, a life-seated planet or something and just play really, really, really tall. Some people are saying something about the blue aliens. They do look kind of cool. We'll have to come up with a species name as well. I mean, you know, it could just be the pacifist or this or that or whatever. We'll also have to figure out something with the uh, the traits. I haven't installed any mods. I'm running, uh, I'm running this one modless, but I knew there is a, an AI mod that's supposed to kick things off pretty well. Um, big universe, few races. That might be a way to do it. The other thing, I mean, honestly, since it's 200 year wait, I was thinking, oh, just play on a small map so you can run the game super fast. Um, for the achievement, you, you need to be at least a little bit pacifist. The thing is, we could go, like, fanatic pacifism. It gives us a ton of administrative capacity, which will be nice to, you know, keep our tech rate up and everything. Um, although if we are life-seated, we really don't need much administrative capacity. I mean, we, in a sense, we still need some to cover um, our star bases and stuff, but I was just wondering if, like, going fully tall like this. The Tranquillians, I do like that. I really like that a lot. Because it's like, it's like Tranquil. Tranquillian. Tranquillians. Tranquillian, I guess, just as an adjective. I kind of like that. We could do a Megacorp. <clears throat> we could go for a conventional Megacorp and try to do some stuff like that. Be frenzy, friendly, and just, you know, expand that way. But, like, we could go Fanatic Pacifists and some Xenophile. Or we could go, like, more like this. Someone is saying Xenophobe for Inward Perfectionist or something like that. Inward Perfection right over here. Uh, oh, I see what people are saying. Common pacifist society, little use for strangers, didn't understand their way of life. More than anything, they would prefer to be left alone. Can't have right... I don't remember this. Was this introduced with some of the... When was this introduced? I've never played with this. Can't have rivals, can't form defensive pacts, can't form migration treaties, can't guarantee independence, can't join federations, can't infiltrate primitives, can't have four subjects, cannot use unrestricted wars. <clears throat> you get more unity, you get more growth, you get more happiness. So, I mean, someone could still pick on us, but as long as we've got a strong kind of defensive thing. Yeah, this looks pretty cool. <clears throat> I've never run this. Now, this needs some amount of pacifist and some amount of xenophobe. So, it's interesting because, hey, cool man! Call the race name Hustari just for fun. Also, the dish was for lunch. Also, remember, drink lots of water during hot summer. I will do that, cool man. Although, right now, it's still a cold spring over here. I think it's still below freezing. So, I'm having some tea, which is going to be good.
Um, yeah, I know we started the stream early. We're doing things. I, I wanted sort of an extended Stellar stream here. Plus, I kind of maybe want to do some Dota Auto Chess as well. So I wanted to make sure we had enough time to play something else first. Um, if you do want to participate in Dota Auto Chess, make sure to download Dota 2. It is free to download. We're going to be playing a, a free mod for it. Um, and we'll be doing that probably a little bit later. Oh, it's Haskarl. Oh, sorry. The font, and, and I, when I see it on this one main screen, it's quite small and fuzzy. So I thought it was an I. This is a Monday Saturday stream, kind of. I mean, there was no Saturday stream, so that was that was part of it. So where do we put our last pip in? So it looks like we don't actually need to be spiritualist for the inward perfection, but it would kind of fit. Although we could just go extreme pass fist over here. Hmm. I'm thinking life seated inward perfection. We won't, we know, we, we don't need to expand to take more territory because we can't really take advantage of territory. Surveillance! Hey, thank you very much for the bits. That was other content. Blast to watch a stream or catch a stream once in a while. <clears throat> cool passes and this is April Fools. Uh, we'll see. So yeah, still wondering about the feedback. I mean, we could throw in, we could throw in a little materialist and do robot stuff, but it always feels cheesy. I mean, it's powerful with the, um, the life seated because then you just expand with robots. Fanatic pacifist. Yeah, I think that's fine. We're going to do this. All right, we got our picks. So we're going to be called the Tranquilians. We're very tranquil. Um, what is our home world and star going to be called? You know, we're inward perfectionists. We don't care about anyone else. Our planet is the best there is. It's the Gaia world. Who needs anything else? The rest of the world is like, the universe is, is sucks. The pun it burns. Uh, getting admin cap for pass from the game. Yes, I know that's true. But I mean, <clears throat> the thing is, even as l you want your admin cap to be higher than your <clears throat> your 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 size, which and you you hit that cap fairly quick. You didn't know I like that. <clears throat> and we could. The thing is, I was originally thinking we'd go um, we'd go diplomatic, but now I'm thinking no, we're going to be isolationists and screw those people. The past fire, Quiltopia, Cool Star. <clears throat> Nirvana. So maybe our home world is Nirvana. Nirvana. And our star name could be some other grunge band. Okay, I don't think that's where people are going. Quilliad. Oh, I, I, interesting. Yeah, I see that. <clears throat> star name Foo Fighters. <laughs> there you go. See, Henzu. Or who is that? Oh, it's Finnegan. Nirvana. Bush, Valhalla, Heaven's Light. Oh, I like Heaven's Light. That's it. Although we're not, um, tell you what, I'm actually going to go back for our ethics here. I'll go to just regular pacifism. You know what? We will grab spiritualist. Spiritualist is fun. It would mean no robots, so we don't get to do cheesy things. Hmm. Yeah, we'll be religious. We sound like religious fanatics. I think that's going to be fine. Um, and, uh, maybe we'll be an oligarchy. Sounds fine to me, too. Got this and this starting solar system being random. <laughs> Hella heat. <laughs> uh, bionics? Or sci psionics? Yeah, we could do psychic stuff. Actually, that might be the way we go. Uh, so we got our government. Advisor. These alien savages must be taught to kneel when in the presence of their betters. Shall I initiate purging protocols? Pacifist module failing. Your breathing is so loud. It's driving me insane. Initiating count to 10 protocol. One, two, three, not working, reboot, reboot. I've never heard that before. It's amazing. Pacifist module failing. Your breathing is so All right. All right. We'll, we'll take the pacifist module. Empire name. <clears throat> Ooh, the Union of Nirvana. We could just, we could be the Trang, Tranquils of Nirvana or something like that. The Tranquils of Nirvana. I think that's going to be us. What's our flag? I've requested a, a randomized flag button. <laughs> Only us? Yeah. Hell Hydra. Um, <clears throat> maybe something like this, you know, it's like, it feels inward and sheltered. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, I don't like that it's not centered quite the way I might want.
No mods right me right now. Oh, the purple, the big heart. I mean, we're not lovey dovey. We don't like other aliens. <clears throat> Tranquil Union of Nirvana. What happens after 200 years? 200 years, we just go batshit and destroy everyone, obviously. Uh, and, uh, oh, we didn't choose, um, Nameless. Oh, right up here. There we go. Some of the humanoid. <clears throat> Blue and purple flag? Uh, that might be a little, a little hard, you know? I kind of don't mind that. Orange. I mean, that's your, that's your, um, uh, they're, they're not complementary colors. They're sort of opposite colors. They pop. Oh, yeah. Never, I never remember to do the ISS part to remove that. Should we just remove it? As opposed to replacing it? Oh, maybe. Contrasting color. PNS, Tranquil Nirvana, ship. There you go. Passive Quill just exists for the early game content. Take everything via piece. Uh, all right. Oh, we, we haven't done our racial traits yet. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I guess we could take non-adaptive just to be cheesy. I mean, we're, if this, is, this is really cheesy because we already can't live anywhere except in a, um, a Gaian planet. I mean, Weak's another good cheesy one. Who cares about army damage? And the, the worker, like, you know, lack of production sort of sucks, but it's not a big deal. I don't know if we need this many points, though. Um, the other thing is, like, charismatic, repu or repugnant. We're not going to have any problems with ethics, because we'll mostly just have the one capital planet, which is a big deal. Sedentary. I mean, at a certain point, like, we, we need to pick some positive traits. <clears throat> nomadic and charismatic. We don't... Well, I suppose nomadic would immigrate more people. I like venerable. Get leaders that just, like, get really high stats and then stay there. That's not bad. Uh, and then throw in talented so that we have a higher skill cap. So our leaders last a really long time. And then they have a, um, a higher skill cap. <clears throat> Sed sedentary, enduring, communal. Okay, because, yeah, we could go pop house usage, maybe. Because instead of venerable. And you know what? We have technologies to make people uh, live longer. We could go enduring. <clears throat> and communal for the pop usage. I mean, it's not bad. Although, then, we've got more trait points than... I suppose I can get rid of weak and grab another one-pointer. Just a tech booster? Why do people want nomadic? Our people aren't going to move around. It doesn't make sense. I mean, yeah, maybe we'll grow from the, the immigration, but it still doesn't make sense. Natural engineer is OP. Well, I mean, all of them are pretty good for the various techs. I don't know if we'll care as much about engineering because we're not going robots because we're uh, we're things. But everyone wants engineering. Done. Excellent. Okay. I think we have completed the Tranquils of Nirvana. Rapid breeders. If you want to do psychic. Oh, that's true. And we are we are religious. So, yeah, maybe we'll go the sociologists instead of the engineers. It's not going to make much of a difference. Here, we'll just save over that. That's going to be fine. And uh, I'm going to go with... So I believe this is all set to default. If I reset it to default and then go Iron Man mode. Um, now, I have been playing with the difficulty higher. You actually just saw it change from something to Ensign when I hit reset to default. But I think for this pacifism one, we really will want the difficulty to be lower. So we're going we're gonna to go for this. Lowers of the text. Nah. I mean, I guess you could tech through faster, but we have to wait for 200 years anyway. Who needs a fleet when you're pacifist? Well, clearly, we're still in need of defense fleet, you know, pirates and things. Just because we're pacifists doesn't mean we're not dumb. 
especially with this, it's it's the pacifism is driven by the fact that we don't give a toss about anyone else in the universe, right? Our, our planet is the only good one. Everyone else is kind of stupid and sucky, and who cares about them? Increased crisis. Um, yeah, because because of the pacifist thing, I think we do have to keep it on the default difficulty. I mean, maybe you uh, let's 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 talk. Do we want to boost the difficulty a little? Like maybe midway up. I mean, I'm not going to go like Brad and Admiral or anything like that. <clears throat> which patch? I'm now on the the default build, which is 2.26. I think has been pushed. Do it, nay. Forgot ruler. I guess we didn't name them especially. <clears throat> No one's too easy. Okay. All right. No problem. We will exit to the menu. New game. Select you. So we'll go up to Commodore. It's not going to be easy. Not if we're not warring and things, but that'll be okay. Is there any other 200 years of peace? I mean, we could push back some of the, the end game stuff, but no. Right, if I went scaling difficulty, it would start us off on Ensign and quickly build a Commodore. Yeah, okay. All right. Done. Done, 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 done. Okay, so here we are. Slightly different area than last time. Ooh, quite next to the Galactic Center. Because, of course, we are very special, so therefore things will be near the Galactic Center. That's for sure. Taking a look at our system over here. Got Nirvana, Heaven's Light. Sounds really good. I'm going to go and... Um, Bring up the sound of Scooch here. Not that there's much happening right now. There's no music, but it'll kick in again. I think we'll be okay. This game have Sharknadoes. Right, because they're adding that to Hearts of Iron, right? Sharknadoes get, are getting added to that. Have uh, the Stellaris people done anything for uh, um, April Fool's this year? I don't know. I'll have to check what all the different possibilities are. Anyway, let's set our research here. Um, I guess we'll take the administrative AI here. Because uh, that's just researchers, it's not space stuff, and then, of course, all three categories, so that'll be a pretty good. Is it a TriStar system? Uh, not here. Oh, right over here! Yeah. And you can, uh, what I like is when you create your, um, your your race, like, way back in the day, you could only choose between, like, a couple of pre-made solar systems or random. But now you can have, like, random binary or random trinary, which is quite cool to be able to have that as an option. Um, planetary unification, I'm probably going to run this for early uh, unity boost, which is really, really, really nice. Um, and then we don't need to rush the coil guns, I don't think. I think we'll go and just grab some tech boost, although the minerals is kind of nice as well. But I think we're going to start that way. Um, we're also going to, very quickly on, wrong place, shipyard. Um, I'm going to build a science ship. Although I guess we need 200 money to hire. Well, we might have a cheap one. It's fine. We'll start anyway, because that's what I want to make sure to do. Construction ship. We're going to go and construct a mine around Valdis here. One of our, uh, I was going to say gas giant, but no, it's rocky with rings. It's a barren world. I don't zoom in a lot in this game. I don't zoom in enough in this game. It really is gorgeous. So we'll get some minerals starting to crew over there. We've got a science ship just chilling. And uh, we're going to send you out somewhere. Tell you what, let, let's go out to this trinary system right away. We'll start by surveying that. Military fleet is just going to chill. That's going to be okay. Listen to this while playing auto chess. You did this to me. Kravik, sorry, not sorry. I know, auto chess is, is pretty good. Had a bad run after I came home and dropped out a whole bunch. But we'll, we'll, we're leveling up again some more. Construction complete. Okay, done there. And yeah, we could sell some stuff, but we'll just wait a bit. Um, Actually... Well, the leader lifespan and the fact that you're younger actually is good. So we'll go ahead and do that. I guess you're right. We could just quick sell a few consumer goods because we don't need them at the time. Oh, we still have to wait until the end of the month before we can hire scientists, but that's okay. Which mega structures would benefit at ultra peacekeepers? That's a really interesting question. I mean, probably the tech, but I, I don't know. Um, building things in space will be quite nice for us life seated people. That's going to be a for sure. Science ship over here. So yeah, we'll hire this one here with the even longer lifespan. And uh, you should be able to learn some things pretty quickly. Queue up a couple of things over here. Mining station is done with our construction ship. <gasps> Simple forms of life have been found on another planet, you guys. 
<laughs> Can't the scientists start working already? You can pay them later, just promise. Mm-hmm. I'll just print more money, it's fine. We're sort of going out from our starting area, that's fine. Construction ship over here. I'll get you, yeah, go ahead. Build the mining thing for the energy, and then we'll wait from there. Nice starting boost to monitor miner life signs. Oh, the, the result of the event? Yeah, it's not bad. Comet sighted! Yay! All right! Who doesn't love seeing a comet? Good things always happen. It's perfectly fine. Um, so we'll have to choose what we're going to build on the planet here for our first building. A lot of people go with the, um, the alloy factory right away. I'm not sure if it's strictly necessary. Part of me is really tempted to just go and start with a tech thing uh, immediately, but... We'll see. I'm glad you play, pay you Tuesday for a scientist today. <gasps> the Arisian Concarde. Our precursors are the Arasians, rather. Not Arisians. <laughs> oh, I hope they have a comet joke in Vampire 2. Oh, man, that would be amazing. Remnants. Intelligent life taunts with pointed absence. Mm-hmm. Traces found on... Oh, yes, yes, yes. So, our people are like, it's weird that, like, we haven't found intelligent life. We found signs that there used to be intelligent life. But that's not that helpful right now. Rastians are the ones that start with the Eukinopolis. I actually don't know. The only one I remember is the Cybrex. So, ah! I was gonna say... So, the Diplomacy Tree isn't always a diplomacy tree depending on what kind of nation you're playing and i was wondering with the inward perfectionist if it might be replaced and indeed it is the diplomacy tree has been replaced with adaptability instead so we get more food bombardment damage goes down habitability increased who cares all of our planets gain one free building slot yeah. resettlement is cheaper what do we have for adopting this Pop housing reduced by 10%. Adopting the whole thing unlocks planetary prospecting decision that allows us to prospect for an additional resource deposit once on our planets. That is very nice because we'll be able to maybe find some more stuff on the one planet we've got. Uh, we don't really have to go expansion, although it's got nice boost for making the star bases cheaper. Um, I'm tempted to go harmony right away. Food consumption, there's some things we're going to get. Um, I was going to say more unity, but maybe not. I'm going to go for districts early, avoiding pops to downgrade. But I could see Discover. I mean, it's not as good as it used to be, because it doesn't give you any higher chance to find anomalies, but it does research them faster. And yeah, when we finish it, we get the 10% research speed. I think we will go Discovery. I think we will do that. Anomaly discovered. We're going to leave that anomaly for now, that's for sure. So a little much. And right away... Hostile hijacked fleet. The penitent ones. Centuries ago, a group of radical priests and their devoted followers of Nirvana. I love the spiritualist um, events and themes that happen in this game. I think it's one of the strongest ones. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Form their own church. Blah, blah, blah. We can't let that happen. They must be stopped. So we have a hijacked fleet in our capital. Let me go and put you on offensive mode. And maybe not recruit a leader. I mean, the starbase should be engaged in this, so I think this is going to be fine. Yeah, I mean, it's not much of a starbase. I don't think it normally shows up in our home system. I think that made our life a lot easier for us. Have you played the console version of Stars? I actually did a tutorial for the console version of Stars. I'm really impressed by what they did with the user interface in there. Uh, keep in mind, it was a this was a sponsored tutorial. Um, you know, so standard disclaimers apply, but uh, yeah. We can board the cultist ship now. Situation log updated. All right, we'll see what we can do. Build those stations. Uh, yeah, I was going to say it's probably with the military fleet, but we're going to wait on that. Oh, he spawns in the home system? Oh, okay. All right, we're going to go and... There it is, research project. Don't know why I couldn't do it a little bit more automatically. Yeah, I really don't know this event chain. Curious to see what's going to happen. 
We'll get another construction ship soon, too. Boarding action. Okay, though the survivors offered stiff resistance, our boarding party was able to secure several prisoners from the disabled cult of Starship. Uh, from them, we've learned that this conspiracy goes far deeper than we initially suspected. The agents of the Penitent Ones include several flag officers and high-ranking officials within our government. Mass arrests are being made on Nirvana. It's like uh, the Soviet Union right before World War II. And all 